lot of times people are so, so scared of telling people how they feel because they don't want to look stupid. Mm -hmm. And this is not shade. Cancer doesn't care about looking <laughs> stupid because they genuinely feel like there's power in expressing your authentic, truest feelings. Yes. You know, and I know that sounds scary for a lot of y'all, but if you're not going to take a heartfelt chance during cardinal water season, like when will you? Yeah. This is the most <laughs> potent, powerful time to lead with your feelings. and. Yeah, I just want people to get comfortable telling people how you feel. Even if those emotions are ugly or you feel like you're maybe you feel stupid for saying it, but like if that's what's been on your heart for a long time, pour it, pour it out. Hey guys, it's your girl Sarah. And Maya. And we're charmed and danger bra. You know, because we're great. And we danger bra. Okay. Especially during crazy cancer season. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially then. Honestly, and if you missed us, we missed you too. So much. I feel like the cancers are like, y'all gonna take a break during cancer season. Right. And like, I get it, but y'all also know that cancer energy is all about resting. Right. And I feel like we did it right, because our last podcast episode, if you haven't checked it out yet, we got into cancer energy a lot during that podcast episode. So like, we gave y'all a little something to right. work with. Okay? Right. We wouldn't just leave you in the dust. Right. And like, happy birthday, <laughs> yeah. everyone. Happy birthday! <laughs> Your first tip, how can the people live their best life during cancer season? Yes. I want everyone to cry oh, this cancer yes. season. I mean, if you haven't already. Yeah. I want you to schedule a good cry sesh. Yeah. And you know, I feel like crying comes easier for some people than others. So like sometimes you really do have to schedule it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. pull up a movie that's intense that you know is going to make you cry or just let the tears fall in the shower. You yeah. know what I mean? I feel like crying is really good for the soul and contrary to popular belief, showing your emotions isn't a sign of weakness. Yeah. And I feel like cancer, this cardinal water sign, knows this best. Like yeah. they really know this, <laughs> you know? Feel free to get so worked up, you know what I mean? Like work yourself into an ugly cry. Like I really want you to be like heaving and weeping <laughs> through it, <laughs> you know? And I feel like I want you to do this because cancers to me, like they are very intense touch with their emotions, you know what I mean? They always give themselves the space to feel how they want to feel. They don't judge how they're feeling in that moment, you know what I mean? So just allow yourself to feel how you want to feel fully and don't judge yourself in that moment. I recommend that for everyone this season. Hell yeah. Because like, we don't do it enough. No, we don't. <laughs> Society shames people for crying, it's true. you know what I mean? And mostly men, but like women too. We're also deemed as sensitive when we cry too much. So mm -hmm. I agree, that, and that is why it is one of my tips as well. You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, and I'm a water side, so you know, I just want people to cry. Like, yeah, I just go up on them like, do you need to cry? <laughs> I have a tissue ready, right? No, really though. Um, yeah, I just want you guys to cry in the shower, cry in the elevator, cry in the goddamn grocery store checkout line. Like, I don't care where you're gonna cry, but fucking cry. Just let it out. As Maya was saying, you know, water energy in general, um, I feel like replenishes itself by crying a lot and letting go of emotional baggage. You know, like when we cry, it's for a reason. You're not just crying for no fucking reason. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling a lot of things. Your body is overwhelmed. So you need to let it out in some kind of way because if you don't, ultimately it'll just create a war within yourself. And if you think about it, you know, cancer season, being in the middle of summer, and we've talked about this often, makes a lot of us suppress our feelings, you know? Because summer has this like branding of being like fun and lighthearted. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like when we experience heavy feelings during summer, we tend to suppress them because it doesn't go with the vibe, right. you know? But except it does go with the vibe because half of summer is cancer season, yeah. you know what I mean? So please stop that. Like if you want to enjoy cancer season and ultimately have a good Leo season, cry it out and then get your ass up and go have fun for real. but like if you're suppressing it and you're going out and having fun like the underlying message or theme of that night is that you're suppressing your feelings yeah everyone else might not be able to see it but granted the other water signs will see it in you um but like ultimately you know that you're not okay and you're just out here pretending and i say that as someone who has had some very rough cancer seasons during years that i've lied to myself and told myself that i'm okay when i'm not Again, all yes. in the theme of hot girl summer that we can now name it. Because yeah, it's like, well, let it, like, stop. Like, you're fine. You're fine. And it's like, no, I'm not fine. Right. And that's okay. Let it out. And then you can go have fun, like I said. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you don't want it to come out when all the alcohol and like, you know, people are angry and there's like a lot of other energies being mixed with it. It'd be night. doing that. You know, it'd and it be do. Doing that. It really do. Mm-hmm. So, you know, cry before. Yeah. But cry. Do it. Mm-hmm. I'm a pusher. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> cry. <laughs> okay, so my next tip for everyone during this cancer season is to make a list of everything that makes you feel safe. Um, it can be both physical or emotional things. Like it doesn't have to be a ta- tangible thing. Like for example, like a blanket, a home, a car, communication, a steady income, you know, two solid friends, like whatever it is that you need to feel safe in life, I want you to make a list of. Um, and you can refer back to this list whenever you're feeling anxious. You know, what in this list are you lacking right now? Like this is such a powerful exercise because what actions are you taking to make sure you have this thing in your life again? This thing that makes you feel really, really safe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I feel like it's safety is such an important theme in, you know, in terms of cancer energy because at the end of the day, cancer loves their home, right? It is your, what you value in life, what makes you feel safe. And I feel like a lot of times during cancer season, we feel heavy emotions because we don't feel safe. Mm-hmm. We don't feel grounded, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but if you have a list of all the things that make you feel safe in life, I feel like it's just such a powerful exercise to be able to refer back to it in times of anxiety. Because when we're feeling anxious, it's when we're not feeling safe. Yeah. You know? No, I love, I love this tip because like you said, you can refer back to and be like, oh my gosh, I'm not feeling comfortable right now. I'm yeah. not in a happy space. What am I missing? Exactly. To figure that out. Because I feel like a lot of the times people don't kind of go through that list. Mm-hmm. They're just like, oh my God, this one thing pissed me off and I don't know why. Really. Yeah. You know, it kind of shakes your whole core. But exactly. this kind of helps you like give you some direction. Exactly. It reminds you what makes you feel comfortable in it's the first place. It's your core identity. You know what I mean? The things that make you feel safe, like if you were to write it down, then it really helps you understand yourself in a whole nother level too. Like, yeah. holy shit, that is something that I value. Holy shit, that is something that makes me feel safe. That's why, and I bet you, that's why during that time of my life, I didn't feel good because I didn't have that. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know? Yes. And I love that you said that it can be lots of different things. Like it can be your friends or it can be like a little blanket or yeah. whatever it may be. It's not just like one thing that necessarily brings you comfort and makes you feel safe. Yeah, it's multiple it's things. It's mix of things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love that. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I feel like that leads me perfectly into my second point kind of, of like getting cozy this cancer yes. season. I feel like I want everyone to get cozy and cuddle up with something that makes you go, ah. <laughs> Blanket for my example, that's because that really is one of my things. Yes. It makes me feel really good. Yes. Safe. Yeah. And what you just said. Ah. Like, that's how I feel when I get my blanket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like, doesn't cancer know comfort like the back of their hand? Like, totally. I feel like anytime we go to our cancer friend's house, they have like the softest blankets ever. Oh, and yeah. like, you know, if you look at a cancer, they're also probably wearing the comfiest shoes. And that's because they value comfort. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So everyone can take a note from cancers in this sense. And I want you to, like Sarah said, you know, like create a safe space for yourself. Create a cocoon and a place where you feel like you can really relax and just get cozy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if that means snuggling up with a blanket or sliding into your silky pajamas. Like I love some silk pajamas. Yeah. That's my safe place. You know, like I love silk. And yeah. And it can be different for everyone else. It may be like a scent for some people or just Absolutely. like a certain lighting for others. No you lie, know? the opposite. Some scents make me feel uncomfortable. Facts. Because they bring me to a place, to a time where I wasn't safe. It reminds me. <laughs> it ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't cozy here. So yeah, opposite effect. You know, yes, but yes, exactly. Try and find things that make you go ah. Yeah. You know? And ah. And ah. And that's so funny, Mm -hmm. because like, I know I've said it before on this channel of how like cancers are your home away from home friends. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you're out with a cancer, like they bring you comfort. Mm Mm-hmm. Like that's how powerful cancer energy is. When you have solid cancers in your life that do love you, I feel like they truly just make you feel comfortable no, no matter where you are. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. The power of the cancer. No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying of heat. Because <sighs> <laughs> I did something. Because I so did something. Right did. There. <laughs> like, fine. You'll see like the moment of relief when you watch <laughs> She was that. washed with relief. <gasps> she said comfort. <laughs> So my last tip for y'all during cancer season is to follow your freaking heart, people. You know, it's fuck your mind and follow your heart. 
<laughs> you know, cancer feels shit and leads with that feeling. Yeah. You know, their heart knows exactly when and where to stop, and they're typically rewarded for following their hearts. Like, I know you've seen cancers when they be acting crazy, and you're like, oh my, cancer's doing that crazy thing, and it ends up working out for them. <laughs> like, you're like, what the fuck? How, how did that work out for you? Because they led with their heart, people. Yeah. They led with their heart, and like, the same goes for everyone during cancer season. Chances are you're gonna be feeling a lot of things. You know, don't suppress those feelings. Tell people how you feel. You know, take a fucking chance at wearing your heart on your sleeve. A lot of times people are so, so scared of telling people how they feel because they don't want to look stupid. Mm -hmm. And this is not shade. Cancer doesn't care about looking <laughs> stupid because they genuinely feel like there's power in expressing your authentic, truest feelings. Yes. You know, and I know that sounds scary for a lot of y'all, but if you're not going to take a heartfelt chance during cardinal water season, like when will you? Yeah, this is the most potent, powerful time to lead with your feelings and yeah, I just want people to get comfortable telling people how you feel. Even if those emotions are ugly or you feel like you're maybe you feel stupid for saying it, but like if that's what's been on your heart for a long time, pour it, pour it out. It's so true and I'm so happy that you said this too because like this whole series is about honoring the energy that the sign has, right? And how yeah. you can take that and make it your own. Like, cancer has no issue, like you said, following their heart. Yeah. And they don't care if they look crazy. You know what I mean? That's cardinal oh. water. They lead with their emotions and they take pride in that. And honestly, it's really admirable. Like, yes, we look at them like they're crazy, but it really is admirable. A part and of you everyone, wants to do it. Exactly. A part of you wishes she had, or she or he had the courage to do it. Exactly. And like, why not if you're maybe scared yourself already to do this like why not take the energy that's already working towards you in this season to push it even further yeah. you know what i mean I Give like that little oomph it'll just to get it done you that much more confident during leo season because you've put yourself out there and you were courageous mm -hmm. you know leo season loves courage so yes, you're gonna be feeling, you're gonna be feeling yourself <laughs> yes you know mm -hmm. don't don't hide don't be shy by it. Don't be shy by it. Don't be shy. And you know what's so funny? Because Cancer's like, I'm shy. And Leo's like, I'm not. Right. But Cancer really don't want to be shy. No. You know, but they're just like pretending. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just a little shy at first. Then they're like, boom, bam. No, literally. <laughs> that. You know? <laughs> okay. My last tip for you guys on how to honor Cancer energy and just really live your best life this season is to honor the feminine energies in your life and within you. I feel like Cancer energy just screams mommy to yeah, me. Like, it definitely. just screams mommy, you know? It, it is mommy. So, it's moon, I, mommy, moon. Yes, mommy, moon, mother moon. Um, so I recommend, you know, you reach out to your mommy or any woman <laughs> who has mommy, helped you. It's Cancer season. I love you. <laughs> no, literally, that's what I want people to do. I want you to reach out, say mommy, or to any woman out there who's helped make you the woman or man you are today and be like, hey, like, I love you. Yeah. I feel like all women right now are going through it based yeah. off of the things uh, that's that That's exactly what I was going to say. I'm like, how you want me to honor my feminine energy when the fucking government is trying to fuck with me? But Maya's right. Now is the time to do it. Exactly. It's when we need it the most. Exactly. You know, like, we need that maternal, loving, familial energy and more than power. Yes. That feminine energy holds. Mm -hmm. the, the resilience. Yes. The ability to create. Yes. You can create a whole new reality if you just believe. And I mean, to be honest, that's why these toxic men, these politicians, these misogynistic men, that's why they're so afraid of feminine energy. Yeah. Because we have the power to create and they want to control us. So, you know, reach out to the women in your life, remind them that we have this power within us. And maybe if you don't have a great relationship with your mother or somebody, you know, in your life, like, just talk about yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. Remind yourself that you have that energy within you. And men do too, you know what I mean? We all have a divine feminine energy within us. Yeah. So I want you to honor that this cancer yeah. season. And also if you've lost maybe someone um, that whether it be your mom or someone that you looked up as in terms of in terms of like this feminine energy, write them a letter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's still ways in which you can communicate with that person. Mm -hmm. So don't feel like you're out of the loop just because they're not here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode <laughs> on how to live your best life this cancer season. We know it's like well in way, but you can still take these tips 
and really live it out mm -hmm. these last few weeks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Do the damn thing. Do the damn thing. Um, happy birthday to all of our cancer people out there. Yes, yes, um, yes. Yeah, we love you. We love you so, so much. Uh, make sure you comment down below. We're going to link our socials around here. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.